A ceremonial gesture, but an important one according to Governor Pete Ricketts. An agreement with the governor of Japan's Hyogo Prefecture to strengthen trade relationships even as the Trump administration doubles down on tariffs. Japan is our fourth largest export market, our third largest market for our agricultural products. Ricketts is encouraging the president to reach a new trade deal quickly. He says the $12 billion aid package to farmers is a temporary measure. Obviously at the end of the day, what farmers want is they want trade. Some ag groups say a trade war couldn't come at a worse time for producers. They're going through their fifth year of commodity prices below the cost of production. Agriculture's nose is going to bleed worst first and longest. John Hansen of Nebraska's Farmers Union says the federal aid is needed, but wants to know how and when it will be distributed, and if it's enough. Last month alone, uh, producers across the country lost about $13 billion worth of value. In my opinion, a lot of this loss, you, you cannot pinpoint the tariff just yet. Jim Kreitsche has been farming for two decades. He says grain prices were predicted to go down years ago due to overproduction. He believes we need to give leaders an opportunity to negotiate from a position of strength. To give us some long-term grain deals that, that we can benefit from. Still, longtime trade partners remain concerned. So our biggest concern is that I hope that this will not result in a trade war. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.